What's up YouTube? It is Honda Fondler here. I'm doing my video redo. Um, if any of you saw the first one, it was extremely terrible. Uh, the video was, was fucking shooting on me, uh, on my odometer the whole time. And you didn't really get to see anything. Um, and I know the wind was it was pretty windy, so you definitely couldn't hear me. Um, moving my apartment complex. It's funny, if any of you ride motorcycles, you probably know, a lot of meters don't pick you up. I have to actually go out of the entrance and, you know, push my, uh, push the clicker to let me out because I can't get out of that one. But surprisingly enough, this light right here actually always picks me up. It's kind of weird. But my own gate won't, but this will. And we're off. Uh, I'm on my way to school. Um, I live out here in California. Southern California to be on it, to be exact. Um, I live by Newport Beach. I'm in Orange County. So, you know, definitely if any of y'all are out here, uh, hit me up. I'd love to go ride sometime. Um, I'm gonna, this is my first bike, actually. It is a CBR 600. Is it? Sorry about that. I don't know why it went really, really, really bright there. I guess the sun. But it's a CBR 600. It's an F2, 1992. Uh, it's naked right now. Uh, but I did just order some new phones for it, so those will be here on the 15th. I'm really excited. It's going to be all red and white. But the reason I got the CBR 600, I've been riding motorcycles for a while. Not street bikes, but dirt bikes. And I've always been a Honda fan. And... I knew that I didn't want to get the 250 because everyone says that you'll just, what's up dude, everyone says you'll, you know, you'll get tired of it really, really quickly and you know, there's just no power there, especially for highway riding and uh, you know, you know, you know they tried to talk you out of getting the 600 but uh, And if you can hear me, they're not bad bikes. They're not too out of control. Now, if you go out and get a 1,000, I mean, that's just idiotic. Unless you're, you know, like 6'5 and 300 pounds or something. But, uh, other than that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting a 600 for the first bike. As long as you can handle it, well, I mean, if it's your very first time ever, and you have no experience, you know, with the shifting gears and the controls, and you can't do it naturally, then yeah, go ahead, get the, get the 250, learn on it, especially in the city driving, it's really good. Um, Great on gas. I, mean, I think they're like damn near what 67 miles to the gallon. I get like I think like 40 or 50 on this. But a lot of the times that's because I ride the shit out of it. But I mean, there's 600. What we're just uh, you just gotta love your bike and not be needy with it, really. Um, no new limits for sure. Uh, one thing I almost, I've almost gone down when I was first learning the bike because I, I didn't know my limits and I rode above them. You know, going, you know, the first week of having it trying to blast through the canyons, you know, is not a very smart idea. 
I didn't know how fast I could corner, didn't, didn't even know proper cornering techniques, but uh, I did, damn that's a tight fit, let's go. Yes, that is what we do here in California, I love it. Uh, I would much rather be out in front of the cars than be boxed in and have one of them hit me because fuck that. If I go down, if I go down on my motorcycle, I want it to be my fault, not someone that fucking hurts me. I think you do my son. I will say that. I don't even remember where the fuck I gotta go. I'm not, I'm not going to school out loud about that. I'm going to school after I do this. I'm going to a job interview right now. I've got my paper, but I can't really see it on my glass so with my camera. I'm not going to be in my, in my helmet. So I really can't see that much down. Oh, that's a nice little spot right there. I hope you all just remember the name. I go to the end of the paper, hope you all just remember what you see. It's wide open road. It is fucking cold, bro. Cold, cold, cold. They just get to warm up to like 75 today, I think. Which would be nice. Nice day to ride. It sucks that I'm going to be busy all day running errands and then in between classes. Oh, uh, good. Hopefully, this thing, hopefully someone comes behind me. Because this motion sensor does not pick me up whatsoever. There's one of, the, one of the few disadvantages to having a motorcycle, but now I can read this. I'm going on here for about a mile. Let's see. Then I will make a right onto South Grand. But, again, on the subject of your first bike, when picking, picking your first bike, you know, do, do a lot of research. Research your bike. Research, you know, get on, get on the forums. Talk to people on the forums. You know, see, ask their advice. See what they did. What was their first bike? How did they handle it? You know, but picking your first bike is really a lot about preference. What do you want? What 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 kind of style do you have? You know, what color do you want? What uh, what size do you want? How big are you? All that, all that comes into effect. And you know, most importantly, can you handle the bike that you're getting? That would be one thing I would have to stop somewhere and get on my slow ass GPS on my phone. Oh, yeah, excuse the bad quality again because I am shooting this off of my iPhone. But I promise you I will upload as soon as I can. But not today. Oh, it was freaking chilly. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning right now. But if you live in California or in the Southwest, you know nights and mornings get pretty chilly because we don't have all the vegetation and whatnot to hold in all our heat. Oh, you see a lot of those out here. A little Prius. I don't know that one's in a Prius, but same thing. See a lot of little hybrid cars. And definitely a lot of motorcycles too. A lot of motorcycles out here. I love it. Come on, you fucking light. Nobody's going here though. Go. Hopefully, 
the wind isn't too bad. I set my, uh, I closed my, you know, what I, the, I don't know what the fuck you call it, the mouthpiece, the mouth guard or whatever. I closed that off so air doesn't get into it. So hopefully the wind isn't too bad. If there is wind coming through, it's through the bottom where my chin is and I have to figure something out to work on it. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. I can see that you can see it a lot better, you know, looking down I can see that you can see the road that I'm looking at. Nobody to the right of me. Oh, this is where I'm making my right at. I think. This isn't the one where no. Yeah, we're good. What's up, dude? Something feels weird on my bike. The seat. It feels like the seat's not locked in, but I know it is because I just chucked it. Weird. Maybe it's a different pants on the one. I don't know. I don't know. So no, not Oh, there's not a cloud in the sky, but it is going to be a beautiful day, I can tell you that much. Oh, we got a tight fit here. What about this side? Still a tight fit. I could probably make that, but this thing is, uh, there's a bankman there. You can't really see it there, but, uh, you know, I'd have to go exactly on that white line because either side of it slopes down. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like having to pay for anybody's damage on a new car. Another thing, if you're in the state, I, I think, I think there may be another state that just legalized land sport. But if you're in California and you can land sport, try to do a, a nice, nice loud bike. It doesn't have to be extremely loud. Well, having a loud, loud type or loud engine really helps because when you when you're going through, even a red left a little bit, they may really I found it's, you know, motorcycles, when you have a loud one, and you have a little high next to somebody, it really gets their attention. And I find that it gets their attention better than, you know, riding right next to their window. I'm not lost, don't worry. I'm on the road I'm supposed to be on. I think I'll be traveling for about two or three miles, so I think I'm good for right now. Hopefully I'll get you to a stop right to stop flying and that's like a new look on my paper. But, uh, yeah, leave me, you know, leave me feedback, comments, whatever. You know, uh, tell me what you think about the video, what I should do differently, what maybe talking points should I uh, hit on for you. Uh, okay. What do you like? What do you like to do? What, what's your bike, you know? I'd love to know. I want to interact with you all. That's why I'm doing this really. I'm not doing this for, you know, the highest rating or the most views or whatever. You know, I really, I really, really, you know, find motorcycles to be one of the most interesting things, one of the funnest things that you can do. And I want to, you know, share my experience. If you, if you don't have a bike, damn. That was almost, uh... I probably should have gunned it out of the 